In this lab activity, we will work through the counter strain treatment for anterior rib tender points. For the purpose of this exercise, we will pick the left anterior rib 6 tender point. The patient is seated with the hips and knees flexed on the table towards the side of the tender point. In this case, towards the left side. For some patients, this mermaid position may not be anatomically possible. If that is the case, you can let the patient's left leg hang off and have your patient's right leg crossed underneath it. Physicians stand behind the patient with the foot opposite the tender point on the table and the knee flexed under the patient's axilla. This allows side bending towards the tender point easily. You can also have your patient's left arm hang off the edge of the table if you want to allow for easier rotation towards the tender point later. Finally, you can also have your patient sit and lean against your body completely relaxed. This will allow you to flex the patient really easily. We start by identifying the tender point first. Here, I find left anterior rib 6 tender point by, by finding the xiphoid process. Then, I move my palpating finger laterally to the anterior axillary line region to look for a tender point. Once you locate the tender point, by poking on the tender point and patient giving you feedback that it's painful, assign that tender point with a pain level of 10. Now, you're ready to begin the initial setup. The known counter strain position for AR6 is flexed side bent towards and rotate towards. Once you move your patient, palpate the tender point and ask the patient to rate the pain again. If initial position does not result 100% pain reduction, fine tune to reduce the pain to zero. Physicians, you should learn to fine tune through small arcs of motion. For today's exercise, you should be able to side bend the patient left towards the tender point by moving your right leg ever so slightly. If your patient is relaxed and leaned against your body completely, adjusting the flexion and rotation should be easily achieved as well. After the fine tuning, palpate the tender point again and ask the patient to rate the pain. If you achieve zero or 100% of pain reduction, start your 90 second clock. At this time, patients should be completely relaxed. As I said last week, we tell our patients a joke in this time to practice performing a technique while holding a conversation with your patients. After the 90 seconds, Return your patient to neutral. Here, everything must be passive. Then, repalpate the tender point to reassess.